I do find it somewhat hilarious that with the lead that they had with seven minutes and 50 seconds ago, they couldn't find a way to finish against a Spurs team that is not great this year. This dunk that supposedly yeah. didn't count wouldn't have given them a 103-89 lead with 7.50 to go. So, in other words, they were up 101-89 yeah. Yeah, they were. when the dunk didn't count. So, I mean, A, Rockets finished the deal. However, uh, they are asking either to be awarded the win, which should not happen, that won't happen. or they will want to be replayed. And here is, again, uh, Tim, Mc Tim McMahon, our NBA reporter, explaining the permutations here. Well, the Rockets are prepared to file a protest, but they're optimistic that that won't be necessary. Rocket sources tell me that they are optimistic that the league office will take action, either by awarding them the win, since they technically did outscore the Spurs in regulation, or order that the game be replayed with Harden's dunk counting and replay the final seven minutes and 50 seconds. And that would not be the first time that this has happened in no. the NBA. Uh, we looked it up. Our great research staff has some examples. In December of 2007, the Heat and the Hawks was the most recent. The Hawks unofficially won 117-111 in overtime, but the official score incorrectly ruled that Shaquille had fouled out, so they had to replay the final 51.9 seconds when mm -hmm. the two teams met. It also happened between the Lakers and Spurs in 82, the Nets and 76ers in 1978, and the Hawks and the Bulls way back in 1969. Mm -hmm. So I, there is precedent for this. But, Mike, I don't know how you feel about it. To me, if I'm the NBA, I'm like, let's see if we need this, right? Let's see how this plays out. If this game down the stretch matters at the end of 82 in terms of seeding or something like that or who gets in or who doesn't get into the postseason, yeah, I guess we'll do it. But until that time, I'm not rushing to get through this thing again. And I think that I'm trying to look at all of the dates of when these were replayed because you mentioned the one from the 80s that was a game that was played in November that wasn't replayed until April 13th, so – this idea and that one was five seconds. Like at least in this, we're talking about close to eight minutes of game time, but I'd imagine this is something that is going to wait. It's going to kind of live in that ether until then. And then if anything comes down to it, they will replay that, which is interesting because I mean, if we're going to, I don't know at all adhere to the idea of fairness or sincerity in this, you would want to play it with the teams as presently constructed. We have no idea what, what they're going to transpire be between now and then. Yeah. Correct. Well, that, so, that is true. I didn't even think of that part of it because I my, mean, my initial thought would be wait until to see if you even need the game. Because again, I mean, think if this happened to the Lakers last year before Christmas, and then all of a sudden you're playing this game in Without April LeBron. when LeBron is off the court, chaos has ensued, the roster is completely different. And if somehow you still needed that game, then you're at a severe disadvantage when the win should count from earlier in the That's year. That's interesting because, yeah. it, listen, let's just say they're not going to award them the win. No. That would be – Don't even ask for that, by the way. Ridiculous. Come on. And we, we do need to get down to it with the, with the NBA and officiating and replays. They seem to really be – unless I'm just not understanding. Mike D'Antoni uh, had said he had asked for a replay because – uh, Harden supposedly called for offensive goaltending. Yeah, he, he started, said originally it was told to him was a goaltending. Goal so he said, I challenge that. I want to replay it. And then a ref came up and said, no, no, it's an out-of-bounds play. He said, well, I want to replay that. And they're saying that he did both of those after the, the 30, 30 seconds, seconds, which he's saying, no, I didn't. Didn't we just go through this with Doc Rivers? Doc Rivers, yeah. Saying that he asked for a replay and supposedly the 30 seconds ran out. They're having real issues. We're trying to get the replays. Are they ignoring these coaches until the 30 seconds yeah. lapse? So it's not just the NFL I mean, that has yeah. issues with video replay. Here's the direct quote from uh, Dan Tony. He said, I heard they said that the ball hit James and went back through, so it was goaltend on James. I challenged that, and I didn't get a response. Then another guy said, it wasn't a goaltend. It went out of bounds on us. And I said, well, I challenged that. Can't do that. You know, I don't know. To answer your question, I got nothing. I can't tell you. <laughs> and uh, I feel bad that we don't have that sound because you always said Mike D'Antoni sounds like he might have just had one too many at the bar. Just so like a love, nip. I would love to hear him say that. By the way, there's an easy fix if they really wanted to do this. These two teams play Monday in Houston. The next game in San Antonio was until April 12th, which is where the game was last night. Right. So if they if they wanted to just get this over with, they could say, well, play seven minutes and fifty seconds or whatever, and then we'll do it again. Take a break, and then we'll yeah. have, have, have a game. Huh? By yeah. the way, the 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 rest completely got this wrong. This yes. absolutely should have been a dunk. They were completely in the Correct. wrong on this. So I have a feeling they will say, let's replay it. But that is a great point. If you wait until you see if it's necessary, and you have to, the teams could be different, whether by trades or by injuries. So. 
I don't know. That, uh, that, that, that one's in the NBA's hands. I'll have to decide that soon. But they, they probably should do something because that was a horribly blown call and then not seem to be handled very well from the replay side of it either. Listen, if there wasn't precedent, I would say just move on. But there is precedent. They've done yeah, there this before, is. Yep. so we'll see how it plays out. Um, again, the Spurs are, what, six games under five hundred. Uh, and they're, I think, in their 10th or 11th place in the Western Conference right now. So, but Houston uh, isn't. Houston isn't. Houston, Houston isn't. isn't. The, game's gonna, the game could mean something Houston's to Houston Houston's fifth Rockets. in the conference right now. Yeah. And, and we know. know what their goals are. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. So, again, probably the most uh, famous of this at all time was be the George Brett Yankees game after it hit the home run on the top of the ninth inning, and they had to replay that eventually because there was too much pine tar. The pine tar game uh, is what uh, a lot of people refer to that, too. So we'll see what happens if they rule quickly. But NBA, whatever you do, don't just give them the win. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+.